This is why Adopt Me players are angry. Underneath every single recent Adopt Me post, players are saying that they need to listen to them. And there's so many people saying it. People are angry and saying that Adopt Me, you have to lessen the price of the beach ball amount on the pets. You give them 2k to 3k beach balls and you can't afford the pets. Even on YouTube, the most liked comment is saying that the community is upset about the prices, please do something. And this literally has 135 people replying. Some people have said that it's fine and they can make 130k beach balls pretty quickly. Some players are saying that they lowered the rewards. When they were AFK on the ski game, they used to get 1500 beach balls and now they only get a thousand. Which to be fair, I don't think many players mind about. If you're actually playing the game, then you do get more currency compared to AFKing it. Also, there's so many scammers in this server. What is going on? This person said it's their sister's birthday. Someone else says they're quitting Adopt Me. Someone said they're doing Pick a Door. Oh my word, I think I have came into the ultimate scam server. I'm trading my Adopt Me stuff for MM2 stuff. Uh, sure you are. Yeah, that's gonna get you banned. They saw that I was here and they left. What in the world? The people that are complaining that you're not getting enough by being AFK, I recommend you play the minigames instead and you might just go and get a lot more of the currency. Plus, they're actually fun to play. There's literally hundreds of people just kind of arguing with each other saying that it's really hard to go and get them and you can't go and get it in a private server and that it takes six hours to go and get the Levithian if you're playing every minigame. Some people are even complaining that going and buying beach balls with Robux is a bad conversion rate. But the thing is, you don't have to spend Robux to get the beach balls. You can just literally play the minigames which is the idea of these updates. So at no point are they forcing you to spend your Robux to go and buy the beach balls. But yeah, I would say that it's a pretty bad conversion because every minigame you could get about 3,000 beach balls and they're charging you 100 Robux. But overall, I can see why some people are angry about this, but I'm kind of happy with how it is. I don't think it's extortionate. It just makes the pets even more rare, you know? Like, if they were all really cheap, everyone would just be like, Oh, they're not rare, they were too cheap. So, you gotta win some and you gotta lose some, I guess. This is a brand new legendary coming into the next Adopt Me update. And you can actually go and grab it from a very cheap box. The box is gonna cost you 12,000 beach balls, which is quite possibly the best thing that Adopt Me has gone and added in terms of their currency pricing. Having listened to literally everyone moan about these things being expensive, I guess they're kind of heading a bit in the right direction by only charging you 12,000 beach balls. Now what can you get out of this? Well, you can go and get this pirate ship legendary crab, which looks pretty amazing to be fair guys. And up next is again a really cool one, an ultra rare ice cream crab. I just love when they introduce food and combine them with pets and I think I know a bunch of you guys agree with us that food pets are just kind of amazing such as like the strawberry shortcake bat dragon literally every single player loves that so an ice cream pet yeah that's pretty cool and I like the execution on it and then what is this one is this just this is a rare by the way so that was an ultra rare for the ice cream the pirates are legendary which means this one is a rare and this is just called a castle crab and the regular one is going to be a common which is just called a permit crab but not only are they going and adding crabs in the next update they're also going and adding a new type of shark which definitely wasn't something i expected but considering they went and revamped the octopus revamped the turtle and revamped the space whale then i guess many players aren't too shocked that they revamped a shark but this one does look nice actually. So this is a different type of shark. This is called a leopard shark. And this is going to be a rare rarity and will cost you 25,000 beach balls. Again, this isn't too expensive, more on the affordable side of these pets. And since they're adding more mini games, it will make it easier for you guys to go and get the beach balls, allowing you to go and purchase these quicker.
last mini game is going to be called Ice Cream Frenzy. You'll be teaming up with your friends to fulfill orders in an ice cream shop. So someone's going to order it. You have to go up, get the right items and actually deliver them, which kind of sounds amazing. This was kind of what I expected the pizza shop roleplay aspect to go and be when it originally came out. But they've made this into an ice cream mini game. So they've got to collect the correct ice cream, like select the certain ones, put the correct toppings on and then go and deliver it and you go and get a score for however many you get correct. This is a pretty creative idea and sounds like a pretty fun mini game and the reward is going to be those beach balls currency. The summer fest actually ends in 16 days which seems pretty soon and I'll be honest with you I haven't got any of the pets. So yes, these do seem very expensive, but in comparison to what they're going and doing, these are going to be a bunch cheaper, which is very good. It's not like they can just go back on themselves and go and decide that they're going to make these cheaper because people have already gone and bought a bunch of these. They can't just go and make it cheaper. The only thing they could do, I guess, is go and change the Tortuga de la Isla into a legendary pet since originally they actually told everyone this would be a legendary and they're charging you 490 robux so i guess they could just kind of swap this into a legendary if they wanted to but i very much doubt they will as that might then affect those people who have aged up those pets thinking they were ultra rare it just might make it a bit confusing so realistically i don't think they'll change anything but the fact that they're making this lovely little box pretty cheap and affordable is great and definitely what i'm going to be saving my currency for so i can try and get this pirate ship which kind of looks amazing and then after that guys in nine days you'll be able to go and get this little clam and whatever mysterious bird this might be we're about to play this minigame to find out is it actually worth going and playing and will I go and get beach balls or should I go and be complaining like many of the other people. So I came fourth place and I got 2300 beach balls by going and playing this. Which means I'd have to play the minigame about nine times to be able to go and afford the brand new box which isn't really too bad. But remember Adopt Me is going to be releasing a third minigame which means you can be able to go and get these pretty easy. Easily, as I believe every minigame runs every single 20 minutes, which means you should be able to play a new minigame about every 7 minutes, which is pretty decent, which does mean on average to get 20,000 beach balls you'll have to be playing for 1 hour. So 1 hour to go and get 20,000, which does calculate to about 6 hours of playing the minigames to be able to go and afford the Levithian pet, or however you pronounce it, which does make this a very rare value valuable expensive pet to try and get your hands on as the amount of time you have to spend to get this is very long. Click this video here to see how to trade from a cat to a parrot in Adopt Me. It might just blow your mind and teach you how to trade better.